Welcome to Fitness and Beer. I'm Larry Powell, and welcome back to the lab. Yo, what's up, fellas? I'm super excited today because today we're talking about another double edged safety razor, and today we're going to be shaving with the Mercure 34C. Let me make sure I get it right there in the camera. So it's Mercure. The correct pronunciation is murder. For some reason, at the last possible minute, I thought better of it. And instead of spending this whole video calling this company Mercure, I decided to ask Google. I simply Googled, how do you pronounce murder? And not only did Google give me the phonetic spelling of the word, but it actually pronounced the word for me. Murder. I mean, who knew? I didn't. You also may ask, why don't you just watch a YouTube video from another razor reviewer and get the correct pronunciation there? Well, this is not an option for me because I like to deliver my opinions to you as fresh as possible. And any well done YouTube video can't help but to influence that. Written reviews don't impact me in the same way. And after reading a written review, I can still turn to a product with a relatively blank slate. However, I still think written reviews are really important and in the case of the Merker 34C, we got to talk about the written reviews because this is one of the highest rated double-edged safety razors on Amazon. With more than 5,800 reviews, it has 81% five-star reviews and a 4.7 overall. And well, as a result, I am so excited to try it out. One of the reasons I like to turn to Amazon for reviews is because it's one of the best places to get real reviews from real consumers like you and I. Now, Amazon reviews are not 100% untainted, but that's a conversation for a different video. I know if you go to Amazon and you search men's razors and then sort them based on ratings or reviews or whatever, yes, you will definitely see reviews higher than a 4.7. But if you look more closely, many times people are reviewing things other than performance, comfort, and efficiency, but instead they're reviewing things like price and how many cartridges are in the package and the quality of the bundle, but all things that don't relate exclusively to the razor's performance. And once you do that, and you just start looking at reviews that are only about performance, you will see that a lot of these rankings come down drastically. So it's not just me telling you that the Merker 34C is a pretty good razor. It's actually all of you out there and many people in the masses telling us that this razor, the Merker 34C, is a pretty darn good one. Well, let's get to the unboxing. Once you open up the package, you will notice that this product has a nice build and a nice chrome finish. Also, one of the first things that you'll notice is that the design of the handle is somewhat shorter. It took me a little moment to get used to that. We'll discuss this a little bit more once we start shaving. And then other than that, the only other thing inside the package is a Merker brand blade so that you can get started. Okay, so I got the dome all lathered up and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to put the Mercure to work. As you see, I got it ready to go. It's Mercure. Let's, let's get on with the shape. So we're gonna start off letting the razor do the work. Take a nice angle here. And so far, so good. Now, some of you guys might know, I got some pretty strong opinions about whether or not, about whether or not a safety razor is gonna be the best solution for the average guy. And I think for so many people, it, yeah, it's gonna work great, especially for shaving enthusiasts. However, I mean, it's not much of a learning curve, but there is a slight learning curve. And I think that shaving with a safety razor requires a little more patience even in spite of how efficient I said it was. One of the 
the things, one of the things that you'll learn about this channel is before I sit down and give you my opinion on what I really think about a razor, I like to spend a little time with it. And I don't think one shave is enough to give a fully useful opinion. And I'm sorry about the noise. I got a family. What are you going to do? We want to make videos. We want to let you know what is the latest and greatest and the best things to shave with. So we're going to work through it. Another thing that I find interesting about the Merker 34C is no one seems to really know how long this razor has been around or when it was released. It just seems to be a piece of information that's just kind of fallen by the wayside. Now I saw in lots of forums where people suggested that this razor has been around since prior to World War II but I couldn't confirm it in any one reputable source. So if any of you out there know exactly how long the Merker 34 c has been around, please let us know in the comments because I really just want to know. Not knowing how long the Merker 34 c has been around is part of the mystique and Merker hasn't done anything to fix that. Instead, they like to kind of play into it and honestly, I think that's kind of cool. Nevertheless, I think it suffices to say that this is a product that's probably been around for a long while and has been delivering quality shaves for quite some time. Now, a, a Mercure 34C is going to cost you anywhere from $35 and $50. And I know that's kind of just at the price point where you don't want to just take a flyer on something. Once you're spending 50 bucks on something, you want to know that it's going to be something that you're going to use and get value out of. As I mentioned during the unboxing, the Merker 34C does have a shorter handle. And upon the very first shave, this was something that I noticed and it kind of took a second to adjust to, but I didn't find it to be a problem or a fault at all. I think it's part of the reason that I'm actually able to shave with it so smoothly, but nevertheless, it's it's unique. Both the weight and the feel of the handle, like I said, I kind of end up holding it with two fingers while I'm shaving, but it's working out well. And I don't like to jump to conclusions too quickly, but seeing as though I completed a whole head shave without cutting myself at all, I'm really liking the mildness of this razor and compared to my Gillette King C, I mean, just off a of first impression, this is a better first impression. So I do have one bone to pick, and that was, there was a couple times when I noticed that the marker, it wasn't just quite getting me clean. And even after going over it with multiple passes, and I went over it again with the Gillette Labs razor with the exfoliating bar, and I looked at the razor afterwards and there was still quite a bit of hair residue left behind from the Merker that ultimately the Gillette Labs was able to pick up. Okay, we got the parts of my face that I shaved ready to go, all lathered up. And now we're gonna try part two. We just completed uh, my first experience and I thought it was pretty smooth head shave. Well, let's see what we think while shaving the face. It always surprises me how efficient it is when shaving with these double-edged safety razors and just how clean you get with a single stroke in comparison to many of these three, four, and five blade cartridge razors. One thing that I do appreciate about guys that shave with the safety razor is their amount of enthusiasm for the process of shaving with the safety razor. And if you're a person that has difficulty with maybe razor burn or rashes or razor bumps, I definitely think that a safety razor and just shaving with a single blade instead of so much contact on your face, you might see different results. You might not, because here's the other thing that's really important to remember, and that is different things work for different people. And that's just because something works really well for you doesn't mean it's going to work great for the next person. I just finished my first full shave with the Mercure 34C and what are my first impressions? Well, my first impression is I really liked it, 
But did I like it enough? I don't know. I need to run this back a few more times and then let's get in the lab and let's talk about it. Come on now, let's go. Now, I've spent the better part of the last 30 days shaving exclusively with this razor. And what do I think? Well, I have to start in one very specific place. And that is for someone that when they shave with a double edged safety razor, I have a tendency to cut myself. And I've used this razor for a month and I have not cut myself one time. And I would say that's largely because this feels like a mild shaver to me. And I did read in some forums where people called it mild to mildly aggressive, but to me, it was just mild, mild, which if you ask me, it's a great place to start with a double edged safety razor. And for many of you, it might be a good place to start and finish. I think that the Merker 34C is gonna be a great razor for so many of you especially those that are open-minded to shaving with a double-edged safety razor. And also for people that are on the fence about a double-edged safety razor, I think that this razor is an excellent one to start with. However, I don't necessarily think it's the best razor for an experienced double-edged safety razor shaver to shave with because of its mildness. I also think that someone who starts off with the Merker 34C because I think it's an excellent beginner razor, but I think that it's likely that a lot of people are gonna graduate. Once you start to develop the skill and the touch, I can just see a lot of you wanting something more aggressive so that you can feel a little bit more of the blade on your face. I don't think any razor is perfect, but I think that the Merker 34C is an excellent product at an excellent price that many shavers ought to look into. Thanks for joining us, Fitness and Beer.